Hello once again, I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. It is a rainy late November morning in Jasper, Tennessee, and we are at the new fire training facilities of the TVA, the Tennessee Valley Authority. We will be watching the fire training from our participating utility, the TVA, and let's start our training in the classroom. And inside the facility, we meet Philip Johnson, the manager of emergency response training at the facility. Philip is presiding over a safety meeting and informational briefing. You see other people in this video, other participants. These are from the local media taking fire training and taking a look at the facility. And we also see a short video, introductory video, that shows some of the things we are going to be able to practice in today's fire training. So let's start in a room with simulated switch gear equipment and Philip is now going to turn the lights off and we will see our fire for training purposes. There it is. That is the way a fire may erupt on top of switch gear and we will see a little bit later in the video just how firefighters are trained to put this out. Here is one of the trainers showing a control panel or control gun that operates the propane and smoke throughout the facility. And here is Philip again in a cable room. We're going to simulate a fire in a cable tray bed. And here is that simulated cable tray fire. Notice how it jumps from one level to the next. Now let's go to an office type setting. They have an office here. These things are challenging to search. You know, if you're missing a, an employee or something, because you have to come in and orient yourself and, and snake through them, which can be fun enough when you can see, but when you put smoke down on the floor and they can't see two or three feet, it requires them to be able to do it methodically to, to search. Um, now, just to Phil's left are these thermal imaging guns, which are used when uh, searching a room, a smoke-filled or fire-filled room. We're going to see them in use here. You see here the screen of this thermal imaging gun in a darkened room. That white heat signature there is a dummy sitting, simulating someone left in the corner of a smoke or fire filled room. And here we are outside of an oil storage room and you're going to see this thermal imaging gun. Watch it as the smoke comes in and the heat starts to show up behind this door in the oil storage tanks. And Phil will open the door, and we're gonna see the flames, and now you really see how that thermal imaging works as we zoom in to this oil storage room, again, simulating a fire there for training. And this is interesting. If you remember the smoke in the previous scene, that is created by this box here that creates what they call Hollywood smoke which isn't toxic and filled with ash, but gives the same impression of smoke to a human being. And that is a good way to test a new firefighter to see how they react to smoke-filled rooms or they tear off their mask or are more frightened by smoke than they think they might be. And now it's time for the participants in this fire training to suit up in firefighter gear to go out and practice some of the techniques we're going to be shown. First, one of our trainers shows us how to apply water to energized equipment. You never want to have your toes in front of you. You don't have any stability in that way. So you always want your toes going towards the hose, and the hose somewhere up around the belly. Arm goes over, I open the bail up, this is the bail in the nozzle, I open the bail up all the way, put it away. I don't make any adjustments while it's pointed at anything energized. Open, open my nozzle, I bring it up to about a 30 degree fog pattern, I move my hand away from the nozzle, and I apply my water. When I get ready to turn it off, I move away, shut it down. That's what allows us to apply water to energize the equipment. And now let's go back inside with full firefighter gear on and fight this fire on top of a switch gear cabinet as we saw earlier. 
There's that fire erupting. We're going to adjust the cone of the hose and then apply the water to the top of that switch gear cabinet. Take a look at this real quickly from the point of view of a GoPro. That's what the firefighter would see as they look in on that switch gear room fire. And as our group walks back to the classroom where we began the fire training, you have now seen our TND How video on TVA fire training. Again, our participating utility was the Tennessee Valley Authority. I am Jim Ducart with TND How Videos. Thank you, as always, for watching.